So we're here, the back of Moore's Barbershop. It's wide open. I have dreams of a barber chair. Basement's flooded. Here. We'd have to go check it out. Where's that coming in? I think right here, right? Let's see. So as far as I can go down. But it isn't, I seem like it's. That's like the water's not shut off. Wind. Not much left. Ugh. Pink walls. We should just shut that door. So it quits scaring the hell out of us. What is this hung here? A sensor or something. Look at this old doorbell. This was a house. I mean, I don't know why I even had to say it. It's obvious. And I love that plate cover. Well, Booby traps. Yeah, booby traps. They're old. I think they're booby traps. Oh, God. a dead kitten right there folks this is why drugs are bad So, I don't know about you guys, but this looks like somebody tied ropes up where they would either knock these off and they would hit people if they were coming up the stairs. Definitely looks like a booby trap.
Oh my god. Okay, we should probably just get out of here. Okay. I got close enough. Let's go at the front. I wish that thing wasn't broken. Be kind of cool. Looks like whoever owned this place also lived here. And then when it finally closed or became condemned, lots of drug addicts moved in. It's sad, but sadly becoming more common. Look at that bird's nest. If you're from the Dayton area and you remember this place, let us know what it was like in the comments. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and as always, be safe out there.